وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول A questioner asked, I've got close friends who are Shia. They are very good friends of mine, but they insult the companions and I sometimes sit there and laugh. I am now starting to feel bad about my actions as I have become more religious. What advice can you give me? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, lahu alhamdul hasan wa thanau aljameel wa ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah wa ahdahu la sharika lah. Yaqulu alhaqqa wa huwa yahdi sabil wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد It is obligatory upon every Muslim to love the companions of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and the family of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم لحب الله تعالى for the sake of Allah and also because the Prophet loved them عليه الصلاة والسلام Allah تبارك وتعالى he says in the Quran <coughs> فسوف يأتي الله بقوم يحبهم ويحبونه أذلة على المؤمنين عزة على الكافرين يجاهدون في سبيل الله ولا يقافون لومة لائم فسوف يأتي الله الله will come with بقوم أي people يحبهم ويحبونه that love them and Allah loves them أذلة على المؤمنين they are humble and easy to the believers عزة على الكافرين they are hard and tough on the disbelievers يُجَاهِدُونَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ They strive in the sake of Allah. وَلَا يَخَافُونَ لَوْ مَتَلَائِمْ And they do not fear the blame of the blamer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in many places of the Qur'an, He has praised the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah says in the Qur'an, مُحَمَّدُ الرَّسُولُ اللَّهِ وَالَّذِينَ مَعَهُ أَشِدَّاءُ عَلَى الْكُفَّارِ رُحَمَاءُ بَيْنَهُمْ الْآيَةِ Muhammad is the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَالَّذِينَ مَعَهُ Those who are with him. Those are with him are his companions and his family. أَشِدَّاءُ عَلَى الْكُفَّارِ They are tough on the believers. They are tough on the disbelievers. And they are merciful to the believers. Allah also says, وَالسَّابِقُونَ الْأَوَّلُونَ مِنَ الْمُهَاجِرِينَ وَالْأَنصَارِ وَالَّذِينَ اتَّبَعُوهُمْ بِإِحْسَانٍ رضي الله عنهم ورضوا عنه وَأَعَدَّ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَار وَأَعَدَّ لَهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي تَحْتَهَا الْأَنْهَارُ خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا أَبَدًا ذَلِكَ الْفَوْزُ الْعَظِيمُ Also, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, he said, لَا تَصُبُّ أَصْحَابِي The Prophet said, do not insult my companions. And he don't insult them, they don't say anything to belittle them. فَإِنَّ أَحَدَكُمْ The Prophet said, if one of you, لَوْ أَنْفَقَ مِثْلَ أُحُدٍ ذَهَبَ If one of you was to give the mountain of Uhud gold, مَا بَلَغَ مُدُّ أَحَدِهِمْ ولا نصيفة. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he said, it will not reach a hand, a handful of grains that they give. If you give the mountain of Uhud gold and small grains, wheat and barley, or whatever they gave with their hand like that, you will not be the same as this. Sahab will still be more than you. Also, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in a hadith, خير الناس قرني ثم الذين يلونهم ثم الذين يلونهم. The best generation is mine, and those to come later, and those to come later. So the Prophet is praising them, alayhi salam. He's giving them the khayriya, that they're the most virtuous of people. Also the Prophet sallallahu alayhi said about Abu Bakr, he said, لَوْ كُنْتُ مُتَّقِدًا مِنْ أُمَّتِي خَلِيلًا لَتَّخَدْتُ أَبَا بَكْرٍ وَلَكِنْ أَخِي وَصَاحِبِي The Prophet said, if I was to take anyone as a khalil, then I would have taken Abu Bakr as my khalil. But he's my brother and he's my companion. And then after him comes Umar, and then Uthman, and then Ali, رضي الله عنهم. وَأَرْضَاهُمْ May Allah be pleased with each and every one of them. Because Ali ibn Abi Talib himself said, خَيْرُ هَذِهِ الْأُمَّةِ بَعْدَ النَّبِيِّهَا أَبُوْ بَكْرٍ ثُمَّ عُمَرًا وَلَوْ شِئْتَ لَسَمَّيْتُ الثَّالِثَ Ali ibn Abi Talib he said, the best in this ummah after the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Abu Bakr and then Umar and then Ali said, if you want me to, I can tell you the third. يعني he met Uthman رضي الله عنه. Abdullah ibn Umar he said, كنا نقول والنبي صلى الله عليه وسلم حي We used to say whilst the Prophet was alive أبو بكر ثم عمر ثم عثمان We used to say أبو بكر We used to say أبو بكر And then we used to say ثم After that we would say ثم عمر We would say عمر Then ثم عثمان And then we would say عثمان ثم علي And then we would say علي 
فبلغ ذلك النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم and this issue reached the Prophet he said فلم ينكرها the Prophet did not reject our action so it's obligatory upon a Muslim to stay away talking about the companions in any bad way and you should be silent about the dispute that took place between them they are brothers what happened between them is between them this is usul ahli sunnati wal jama'ah we don't speak about what took place between the companions it's we don't look into those issues. We don't request and ask about it because we don't want our hearts to enter it. Al-ghil, wal-bughd, wal-hasad, animosity and hate towards the companions. We protect our tongues from speaking about them because we love them. And we want to fall under the ayah, وَالَّذِينَ جَاءُوا مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا اغْفِرْ لَنَا وَلِإِخْوَانِنَّ الَّذِينَ سَبَقُونَا بِالْإِيمَانِ وَلَا تَجْعَلْ فِي قُلُوبِنَا غِلًّا لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا رَبَّنَا إِنَّكَ رَأُوفٌ رَحِيمٌ we want to make dua for our brothers who preceded us in faith and iman and in righteous action. We don't want our hearts to be filled with hate and animosity towards them. Also, it is not permissible to smile and laugh and joke with someone who's insulting the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu This is aqidatul wala'i wal bara. If someone is insulting the companions and you're in that gathering, you need to get up and leave. You shouldn't sit there because uh, al-iman. Uh, the highest branch of an iman is al hubbu fillah wal bughdu fillah. To love for the sake of Allah and to hate for the sake of Allah. It is lawazim al shahadatain. And it's a shartum min shurutiha. It's a condition from the conditions of la ilaha illallah, which is you hate and you love for the sake of Allah. Allah ta'ala said in the Quran, waddu law tudhinu fayudhinun. They want you to come close. The Rafid and the Shia, when they're insulting their companions, you leave them and you walk away from them. You don't sit around. And if you sit there, you have to defend the companions. And you have to show that these companions are noble and righteous. Because the Prophet ﷺ told us in the hadith, Unsur akhaka zaliman aw mazluma. Give victory to your brother, whether he's oppressing or he's being oppressed. The man, he said, Ya Rasulullah, Unsuruhu idha kana mazluman. I can give victory to him if he's being oppressed. Afara'ayta idha kana zaliman. Kayfa unsuru. But if he's the one who's oppressing, how do I give victory to him? The Prophet said, تَحْجُزُهُ أَوْ تَمْنَعُهُ مِنَ الظُّلْمِ You stop him and you prohibit him from oppression. فَإِنَّ ذَلِكَ The Prophet said, this is نَصْرُهُ giving victory to him. So if this person carries on insulting the companions after that, then you should leave that gathering. قَالَ تَعَالَى Allah says, وَلَا تَرْكَنُوا إِلَى الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا فَتَمَسَّكُمُ النَّارِ Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he said, don't lean towards the oppressors and the wrongdoers. Don't sit with them and laugh with them. فَتَمَسَّكُمُ النَّارَ The hellfire will touch you. وَمَا لَكُمْ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ مِنْ أَوْلِيَاءَ ثُمَّ لَا تُنْصَرُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also said, وَقَدْ نَزَّلَ عَلَيْكُمْ فِي الْكِتَابِ أَنْ إِذَا سَمِعْتُمْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ يُكْفَرُ بِهَا أَنْ إِذَا سَمِعْتُمْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ يُكْفَرُ بِهَا وَيُسْتَهْزَأُ بِهَا فَلَا تَقْعُدُوا مَعَهُمْ حَتَّى يَخُوضُوا فِي حَدِيثٍ غَيْرِهِ إِنَّكُمْ إِذَا مِثْلُهُمْ Also the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said لا تصاحب إلا مؤمنا ولا يأكل طعامك إلا تقي don't be a friend don't be friend or have friendship with a person who is insulting the companions be friends with a person who is righteous is a believer لا تصاحب إلا مؤمنا do not be a friend except with a believer ولا يأكل طعامك إلا تقي and don't let your food be eaten by except a pious person also the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he said المهاجر من هجر السيئات the person who migrated is the one who migrates evil actions. You migrate an evil person and you migrate from a person who is corrupt. I'm going to stop there inshallah ta'ala. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and shaitan and Allah and his messenger are both free from it. Subhanakallah wa bihamdi ashadu wa la ilaha illallah astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh. If you have any questions you'd like to see answered as part of this series, then you can email us at questions at amau.org.